Smith DJ LP. things that I use to make this uh, rat journal with uh, Ellen Heltz uh, Sizzix and Sizzix sorry uh, rat journal scoreboard dice and um, this is a project that I love very much um, I am going to start by showing you oh, I've, I've already uh, posted a, a, a video on Instagram showing the project itself so it's a brief tour of it because you've probably already seen it on Instagram okay so very little here here see here a little pocket that you can okay, keep shut with um, a ribbon velvet ribbon here a little pocket um, so you can keep uh, important things in it, little things that might uh, fly away. <laughs> uh, this is the, these are the covers of the, of the, um, the notebooks that I made uh, with uh, pages of different colors. These are blue and uh, these are pink. So I, I'm going to explain how I made this later on the covers here we are and here a little folder i had the idea of watching uh helen Heltz, uh videos and uh i th said uh, oh yeah folders might be a good idea so and uh i had it i had a you know leftovers from the the making of the 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 the, the, the notebooks here so I used the leftovers to make a you know a little pad for your uh, grocery uh, lists also might seem to me to be a good idea and uh, in this case no waste everything is used um, and here we are and yeah okay and uh, my leather closure I <laughs> I had a lot of troubles with this one because I tried to think about a way of uh, shutting my my uh, rat journal but I didn't want to have something that would uh, go around it not uh, because I wanted to change a bit from the other journals I made and uh, well I had a lot figuring out how to I had a lot of time and a lot of uh, trouble figuring out how to make this one and finally i found something that i liked i wanted some, something a bit destructive you know with uh this stuff uh, looking a bit like a a dragonfly that's what i had in mind and uh well i don't know if i actually su succeeded tried to um and uh it was a fun project probably the best time i've ever had with the uh, with a project because uh well i have to admit i fell in love with the papers um, these are the papers by Graphic 45 and uh, the Blossom Collection and it's Enchant and uh, on this side it's a, you know, this wonderful um, 
blue and uh, uh, pink uh, design that I love and on the other side these big huge flowers um, and uh, I fell in love with the papers and uh, when I bought the papers I already knew I was going to do something like that I had that in mind um, then uh, after I had uh, uh, chosen my, my paper I didn't want it to cover the whole stuff I want I wanted it to be just you know bits of, of this beautiful paper because it's really rich uh, really opulent I say and um, I used a uh, um, uh, craft paper that I uh, uh, inked uh, with uh, the gel press and the distress oxides um, and I used as well uh, iridescent um, PBO paint I'm going to show you all this so these are the, the this is the paper I started with and uh, this paper too okay so this is a uh, plain paper like this Yes, uh, to to make my to make my my uh, printed paper. So it's craft paper, and uh, of course, bits of my uh, liberties uh, um, tie set paper uh, that I, I love as well. I love how versatile it is. You can use it in many many different ways. Um, I probably use it to make a whole cover. I have this in mind too. Uh, I probably use it. Um, I'm thinking about it, how to use it and how to um, enhance it so that it's, uh, it's uh, a bit different according to the different uh, coats or coatings I might use to it. I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking about it a lot at the moment. Um, so this is the project, this is the paper and now um, oh, I forgot to show you last time my bookmarks. So same idea I wanted something very very distressed and uh, but with you know kind of reminders of the main project so I used a, a torn um, pieces of um, of a graphic 45 papers and uh, uh, inked the borders with uh, distress oxides and uh, of course every every time I use a distress oxide I seal it okay I seal the project with uh, either micro glaze but very often it's, it's micro glaze because if you use a varnish um, an acrylic varnish on uh, your oxides uh, without having sealed it first with uh, micro, micro glaze while well, you're making a mess so uh, all the colors tend to blend so use the use the micro glaze to seal it and I don't like so, because I don't like having this you know this kind of powdery residue on the fingers when you you manipulate a um, something that's been uh, inked with uh, distress oxides so uh, to be sure there is nothing like this on your fingers afterwards i uh, i seal it with micro glaze um for this one it took me quite a long time to seal to seal everything because uh, <laughs> i had uh, a, a lot of uh, i inked lots of paper uh, um, with uh, with oxide so my little see bookmarks that nothing special in the inside I just uh, randomly colored it with uh, the colors I used um, for uh, for inking the for inking the the paper and the outside and here used um, okay used a, a leftover from graphic 45 papers and uh, die cut it uh, use this one I think yes that was the one use this one uh, six, 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 six and Tim Holtz and um, I die cut it and uh, just seek it on the bookmarks so that uh, we have a, another reminder of flowers and uh, of the paper and then added little dangling charms here here too, okay, use the the leftovers from uh, the die cutting of the of the, um, the the structure of the journal itself, the base of the journal itself, and uh, made uh, little uh, dangling charms for them, and uh, some vintage uh, charms that I bought from Amazon as well. So this is it, same charms here, with a touch of. Uh, no, wanted to add a, a bit of modernity here, so added a, uh, a elastic cord 
that I had left from my um, yeah from my binding okay from my stringing sorry not binding stringing there we are so this is the project I'm uh, gonna put it in its little box over here there we are and so this is what I used for the project this uh, thinlet by Tim Hortz so this one uh, which is brilliant I love this uh, I love the delicacy of the of the of the the flowers and they may be they are very big when I ordered them I thought they were very little and in fact see they are very very big well you probably know them because uh, most of you buy Tim Holtz's uh, products but I, I love the size of them I mean, this one is one of the little little ones see it's uh it's, a, it's really big it's really big and you can use bits of them you can use them entirely depends on your imagination okay so let it run run it wild so this I used micro glazed I used I used these shades of ink for so you see there are oxides and uh, rustic wilderness <laughs> <laughs> which is only a distressing because <laughs> I'm so absent-minded sometimes that I totally forgot to to order the, the the oxide one so I just have the I just have the the rustic uh, uh, wilderness ink on distress finish but well next time um so ink that with the press with the distress oxides Use all these different shades, these different colors. Use Jeep Sapphire, which is probably my favorite color uh, in as as far as distress oxides are concerned. Um, I love it in distress ink, but I, it's really one of my favorite uh, as far as uh, oxides are concerned. I love the way it gets uh, oxided. I love it. I, uh, I, it's it's really magical. Okay, for this one, I think it's the the best one ever. Uh, really magical and uh, love this one as well picked raspberry is brilliant spent sugar as well they work very well together uh, because uh, spent sugar turns a bit blue when you, the, it gets uh, excited and uh, I think that it gets really really well gets along very well with this one matches very well nice combo and uh, so this green is the most magical green I've ever used um, it's it's an en endless game we're playing with this one I'm just discovering it I know that many of you already bought it but I've just discovered it and um, because I, I ordered it a, a, only a few weeks ago and uh, as I couldn't find it in France I had to uh, um, uh, order it from uh, scrabble.com in, in Canada and uh, well it took quite a long time to get to France and I, I got it and I'm so so happy I ordered it uh, it's really a beautiful green it can be it's very versatile as well you can use it for for different uh, projects it will it, I guess it's gonna be is it's obviously it's going to be great for for uh, St. Patrick's Day but um, that and happily we don't really celebrate in France in some pubs we do but at the moment with the lockdown and the curfew and all the the bars and pubs and uh, uh, cafe uh, closed because of COVID-19 <laughs> well no St. Patrick uh, this year there was no St. Patrick last year either well uh, it's very sad uh, and um, this one I um, I uh, I think it's going to be great for Christmas too. I, I I think I'm going to have really really a lot of fun for Christmas. If I hope I will be able to make cards again because this is bothering me a lot. Um, I I seem to be blocked a lot with cards. I hope it will be back soon. Um, that's why I'm spending all my energy in, and uh, <laughs> creativity in, in journals. Um, and uh, thank you whoever is in heaven. Um, uh, for having uh, uh, 
making me uh, found make made me sorry I've been made me found this uh, new uh, hobby and activity and passion let's say it's a passion because uh, I, I seem to be uh, addicted to, to these journals now but I, I really would like to make cards again because it's a different activity it's totally different way and um, well I see I hope it's coming back soon uh, I'm a bit depressed because of this uh, a bit sad but anyway, uh, not too depressed either. Don't worry, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not totally down. But uh, I'd like to make cards. I have to send cards to some of my friends who send me some. So I'd like to send them back. And uh, I can't seem to be able to be making any cards. So I have to try something. I have to try something else because uh, I have to send them something. <laughs> So these are the the, the, the oxides I use, and beside of the oxides used uh, PBO uh, acrylics, studio acrylics, and this one is the Dyna uh, because it's dynamic, uh, it's a dynamic texture and it's um, iridescent, and um, it's it starts as a blue, and when you use it, you have green. You see green reflections in it, and it's brilliant. I love 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 these paints. They are absolutely incredible um so this is what i used i used as well distress spray stain um uh, that i ordered at the same time as uh, my rustic wilderness uh, uh ink and uh i had already the distress ink and at the same time okay i ordered these two so i love it i love this color it's really really bright and uh, the pigments are so rich when you use distress spray stain um first when i started scrapbooking i didn't understand the difference between uh, you know all these different products say so, okay i've got oxide or i've got distress ink but what the use in having all the others and uh, well <laughs> they're totally different the color is the same but the way they react the way they they you know they play around they do their dance is totally different um this one is so bright the color are so vibrant uh it's in incredible this one well the point is that it, when it gets excited it's it changes everything and uh i love it and uh, the other the distress ink well is just the transparency of it all and uh, well i i'm i'm trying i'm getting used to the products at the moment okay i have probably you i think most of you know how they work but i've discovered them not that long ago because uh, as i told you i didn't start i started uh, making cards and uh, getting interesting in in card making and, and uh, paper crafting not that long ago it was about uh, uh, five six years ago now but i discovered inks um, about three four years ago and uh as i told you in france you have some products but not all of them and uh, uh it's really it took time in, in fact it's taken me a lot of time to um to uh, get to know all the products and how to use them thanks to tim holtz's uh, videos um i understood the difference but i couldn't play around with the products and uh then I discovered that I could order from Canada and, and the United States and uh, but it takes time and a lot of uh, shipping fees, uh, extra shipping fees. So I try to command uh, to order uh, stuff at the same time so that I don't pay that much in uh, uh, shipping fees. Um, so there we are. So and uh, finally used um, Here's my little box with what I use for the project. I used a, this little flower here, still with from Sizzix and Team Oats. I used it, you see, I used it here. Okay, here. You can see it. And I used it in here as well to hide some staples I'd, uh, I'd uh, to use to add the the folder uh, stick to the cover because uh, I was afraid glue wouldn't be uh, enough so I preferred adding a some uh, some stables too and I hid them 
behind. Okay. Here I didn't want to hit it. Okay, I didn't want to hit it because um, you might have to, you might have, you might want to screw, screw it back, uh, give a turn of a screw. <laughs> That's a famous book. Give a turn of the screw um, to, you know, to have it uh, more efficient. So I didn't want to hide it behind the flower. So I put the flower underneath. There is an explanation to it. Um, so this is where I use this. And um, so this is it's done. As you can see, I keep all the different bits of papers that I use. So you see, that's the piece of the covers. I'll probably do something with it. Uh, uh, probably make a bookmark or I don't know, something, I don't know, probably a bookmark, I guess. All these little bits, okay, you say, oh, what's the use of them? Well, you can use everything. Just keep everything in a box. Um, Try to get organized, okay, uh, but don't throw anything. I keep, even that I keep. Look, there's little bits of paper. My, 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 it's me. I keep them, okay? Say, so why, what for? Well, imagine you just want to, you know, make a bookmark and you say, oh, I had something a bit, you know, flowery of it. and that you do and you have something new. This is a new Okay, it gives a new allure to your bookmark, something, you know, a bit different. So I keep everything. I keep everything. I uh, used this cord or thread. Okay, in French they call it cordelette. So it's a silver thread. But, uh, from, it's by Artimio, I think. Um, and I love it because it's 100 meters <laughs> and I used it a lot. So... I like to to use this one. Uh, oh yes, to cut the folders, uh, the you know my little folder. I wanted to cut the pieces inside, so I used this um, this heart shaped uh, die. I don't know where I got it from. I don't I don't remember. Uh, it must be from Amazon, I guess. Was a I it was a Spanish brand, uh, but I don't remember the and. Um, here, look, I used it to cut the folders here, you know, uh, and I wanted them to be a bit um, different. I, I didn't want this, them to be symmetrical, so cut it at the different level here. Okay, see, I started here and here, I started here. So it's a bit uh, different and I like it because I didn't want to, I didn't want it to be symmetrical. Um, so that's what I use it for. And uh, what else have I used? See, I kept, I have the same leftovers than, uh, yeah. See, and I'm going to use it to make another uh, a grocery list or to-do list or whatever. And uh, for another uh, notebook. Oh my, everything is falling apart around me. I don't know what I've touched or moved. Here we go. So this is it. I guess I've uh, told you everything about. Oh yeah, for the charms, for the charms I used um, vintage um, uh, uh, charms that I bought on Amazon. Uh, I got lucky on that one because I bought a, a full uh, pack in which there were ninety pieces for uh, about fifteen dollars, the equivalent of fifty euros and uh, 15 euros not 50 15 euros and um the vintage and the different shapes you see but uh, you can make them work together um this one is a little bit more modern but it works very well with this one and uh use the bits of my bits of my uh, leftovers from my covers okay cut them glue them underneath and you have a kind of I don't know if you see it on the video, but my in real life, yeah, it's it's just beautiful. I don't want to, to you know, I don't want to seem to be bragging about my 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 stuff here, but well, I mean it's magic. It's you have the iridescence of the paint, okay, amplified by the glass here, the glass bubble here, and oh. I'm, I'm in love with them. I'm in love with this project anyway. I'm in love with it. Um, 
some projects you you you, you I, mean, I don't know if you feel it sometimes but some projects you put a lot of you in it and uh, well I think I put a lot of me in this one um, and uh, well I'm going to stop um, because I think I've told you everything about this project and uh, I wish you all the best uh, hope you're fine wherever you are and uh, I'll see you soon for another project 